Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how I created this crystal chandelier backdrop. I am now offering draping classes. Be sure to check the description. And I'm offering a free draping guide that will kind of help you get started with draping or help you to enhance your designs. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Here is the crystal chandelier. I got it from Amazon and I'm just adding the chain to it. It had three connection points. So that's what I'm showing you here. So I kind of went over to the backdrop just to see, okay, how should I place my bars? Because I want this crystal chandelier to hang loosely and freely. So for my base layer, I am adding four panels, four of the red stretch panels. On this pole, I'm putting on the rose gold two panels of that and then I'm adding some red around it because my base layer was red I wanted to bring some red to that layer as well those are blush drapes that I'm adding on there I'm measuring to make sure my colors are even you just want to make sure the one half of the drape is the same measurements as the other half of the drapes about to see me fix that red okay so I first decided to use a pipe cleaner to attach it and then notice how I attached the chandelier to the first pole you also have to buy the um, the, the socket for the the light to go in separately I decided to switch and I'm, I'm using a um, I'm taking off the pipe cleaner and I just used a um, a piece of twine to kind of drop the chandelier a little bit more so I'm using a safety pin at first I thought I was going to use this dusty rose 30 foot panel as my um, as my valance and my pole cover but I didn't like the way that dusty rose looked with red now the dusty rose works well with that blush color but I don't like it with red. So you're going to see me use this again, but I'm going to use it with burgundy. I think it pairs better with burgundy. Now, also, when you're doing using or you're doing a valance, you want to make sure it's flat. You want to make sure it's directly against the uprights. And this is not because I tried to put the, the um, chandelier on the first pole. So it was causing the um, pole covers not to even cover the poles so um, I took that off so I'm getting ready to switch and move the chandelier to the middle and then bring my um, panels to the front and then I'm pinning because I don't want the, the the twine that I connected to the chandelier to be visible even the um, chains won't be visible <music> So I'm putting on my pole covers. Because the sequin is very shiny and pretty, I want that to be in the front of the design to pull a person's eyes to that. So that's why I'm pulling that one to the front. Now I'm standing in the middle and I'm, I'm creating like a V shape with those two red panels. So I'm keeping them straight up and down and creating a V shape. Um, for that blush panel, notice how I gave it some swag. And then for this second blush panel, I gave it even more swag. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Give it some swag for the first panel. give it even more swag for the second panel you just want to make sure your swags are even so you all make sure you're always stepping back I do see a gap in my blush I'm gonna I'm adjust that 
and I use I use pipe cleaners to secure the, the fabric now I decided to have my puddle uh, rose gold puddle show like that again just to highlight that beautiful shiny sequin fabric um, in the middle I made I created like a Hershey Kiss bottom. So now the pole is exposed, even though I have a pole cover. So you want to just use some cassage pins to close it up. And that's what I just showed you in that clip. I have some bling wrap. So I'm using some rose gold bling wrap to create a tie back. And that is a totally dazzled napkin ring in the center. Okay, this is how it turned out. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I absolutely love this the chandelier just really adds such elegance don't forget to check the description for information on my classes coming up please like share and subscribe to my channel i thank you so much for joining me today until i see you next time bye